Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of Guys Talk Knives. We are here with Tyler Pipe, COO of Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. Boxing, unboxing, not boxing. We're not going to box. No, we're unboxing number four. Number, number four. Quattro. January's box. We held this yes. one back just a little bit so that you guys could get your boxes at home mm -hmm. and, and uh, open them up and not spoil it. Yeah, them. I mean, you know, everyone's busy with the holidays. You don't want to spoil it for everybody. Right. You know, no one likes to know what's inside the Christmas present. So, let's, let's do get it. started. All right. So, number four here. Roll up the sleeves. Confidential. Oh, man. You're getting yeah, serious. Yeah, serious about it. Okay. Oh, here's a little sticker here. This may or may not be foreshadowing some stuff from the folks the K-Bar. Uh, so we got a general sticker and then, oh yeah, the folks from Safari Land uh, sent some other stickers. If y'all need a good pistol for, honestly for any pistol, um, or you need a good holster for any pistol, uh, check out the folks at Safari Land. They make everything from leather to, uh, you know, some, some Kydex to uh, just some different plastic nice. materials. I mean, great, great. I love folks. their logo. Yeah. That's Yes, nice and pallow there. Also. So, um, another thing, too, uh, we threw this one in for free. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. It's a camouflage American flag hat. Mm -hmm. We had some extra ones. These are extremely popular at uh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we actually use these as a promotional material. We do. So, we figured, hey, you know, for the folks that, uh, you know, that subscribe to our box, you can always not? use another hat. Yeah, exactly. So, it's patriotic, too. So. Nice. So, item number one. Let's jump into the GI box. Starting yes. with item number one is op the Open L. Yes. Open L number eight. Okay. Made in France. En français, s'il vous plaît. Yeah. Oui, oui. My, 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 my French is. <laughs> you got me on the Spanish. I get yeah. you on the French. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, this version has got the Sandvik Steel, so the number eight. Uh -huh. um, it's got the collar locking, which is different. Um, here, I'll, I'll let you show that there on the. Yep. The close-up camera. Yeah, the collar locking mechanism, again, Sandvik steel. Uh, they do have some of these available in carbon. Um, but, you know, Open L, I mean, they're, they're really known for that collar lock. Yes. They've been around for, gosh, what, over 100 uh, yeah. and some odd years. 130 or, years. 130 years. So if you only knew that the Statue of Liberty and good wine come out of France, <laughs> Open L comes out of there. And if you've never had one of these, you should get one because they are super sharp. They're super easy to use and they lock up in a simple way. You can also like, um, I see a lot of people do their own custom handles on these. So they take they the wood do. burner out or they dye them or they do whatever want on them. It's just a great little everyday knife. In fact, um, Pablo Picasso swore by these. Did you know that? Really? Yes. I did not know He that. used these in the studio all the time. Cut open not. paints and all that kind of stuff. Pretty you nifty. You'll learn something new every so day. You've got one of these. They are uh, $16.99 at retail. So mm -hmm. that is your first one, your Open L8. Next, we're digging in there for the knife roll. Yes, so you're trying to figure out, okay, you sign up for this program. You buy knives all the time. What are you going to store the knives in? Right. So we came up with this great uh, Mountain Knife Works knife roll. Yeah, this thing, I think, holds 12 knives? Yes. Ballistic nylon construction on it with the double thick nylon straps. Whoa! They got you some extra silica gel in there. Yeah, those ain't chiclets. Now these are nice, and because these are clear, you can see what the knives are. Inside. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's great for storage. You can roll it up, put it in your um, your firearm safe um, under the bed, um, hide it from your wife in the garage. I mean, you know, wherever you need to put it. Uh, I love you, honey. There, I don't have any secret knives stored anywhere. We we've got these for nine ninety nine in the store all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. Go check them out. Uh, that is in your GI box as well. Yes. Uh, also next, Rough Rider All yes. Stripe Sow Belly Stockman. Yes. So this is one of our newer knives that came out. And now, it, a lot of... So tell folks about the Sow Belly. It's a little bit different than your traditional Stockman. It, what, it, what the Sow Belly actually allows you to do, and let me show you right down here. So a normal Stockman is slim and it runs all the way through. A sow belly puts a larger belly right here in this serpentine Stockman and what allows that, what happens there is it lets you get stouter blades. Mm -hmm. So you can have a little bit of a wider blade in this. You're going to have, um, actually it shows up a whole lot in that sheep's foot. Mm -hmm. So you get bigger blades in a sow belly Stockman. This in particular is the uh, Rough Rider sow belly all stripe Stockman. Mm -hmm. um, it has genuine bone handles. It has nickel silver bolsters. Both of them have the stripes that go all the way across. Yeah. The blades on this thing are 448 stainless steel. 
half stops, match strike pulls, and everything. This is just a quality traditional knife. If you've never had, had a Rough Rider, if you've got this box, you've got one now. Mm -hmm. We sell these all day long, every day at $12.99. Their MSRP is $16.99. Yeah. Guys, that is just a great little traditional pocket yeah. knife. Now, another thing I want to show you too here, one thing that a lot of folks don't do on a multi-blade pocket knife is they don't do the actual cutler work. And what I mean by that is if you look here, mm -hmm. uh, if you'll switch back. Yeah. See how this, the sheep's foot blade is bent over? And we do that on purpose so that your blades don't rub together and mess up your, your nickel silver finish. Now, in use, your blades are going to rub at some point because they're going to get out of alignment. But right. we actually take the extra steps at Rough Rider to ensure that that doesn't happen. Yeah, no, that's awesome. At least initially. And that's something that a lot of these mass produced knife makers don't do anymore. And it's that special, it's that old school cutler. Right. That, that's actually where cutler came from, was that they hand tuned the knives. Right. Okay. So the one thing that you would point out on that is somebody told me, I think uh, I think Kevin told me this at one mm -hmm. point, is there's there's a guy who sits there and hammers those. Yeah. Usually with a rubber mallet or something like that to make sure each and every one is fitted individual. Correct, yeah. And they use like, it's almost like a little type of a, it's like a bench that they do it on. So it's a really cool crazy. process to watch. So you've got one of these in there. It's $12.99 retail, $16.99. Still in the GI box and now something fun. It's the flask. It's the big flat okay. box. I think we've all <laughs> chopped wood at some point in our life. And I'll be honest, you get a little cold out there. A little bit. And I'm not going to lie, you might need you a little something to warm you up. Or, um, you know, you can store more than just spirits in I'm here. I'm proud of this one because this one was my suggestion for this box. Yeah. I mean, everyone needs one. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you could also store, you know, like emergency water. You could store, I mean, you could use it for anything, really. Right. Um, but, yeah, I mean, why not? It's just a handy carry little flask. It's stainless steel, guys. We carry these in the store for $3.99, the MSRP at $5.99. It's a great little flask, all stainless steel. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. I like stuff. It too. That's I like what's it. in the GI box. So if you got the GI box, you got the hat, you got the open L, you got the knife roll, you got the South Valley Stockman, and you got a little nip right there yeah. from your flask. In the Officer's Club box. Yep. We went fixed blade this time. We did. K-Bar. K-Bar fighter. Dang right. Okay. That is a nice knife. That's a knife. That is a really nice knife. Let's look at two and let's talk about this one right here. Woo! Look at that thing. Here, I'm going to give you these notes. If you okay. can remember what's in that K-Bar. Yeah, now this is their fighter model. Um, K-Bar obviously is one of the bigger names out there. They made a big name for themselves after World War II when they made the USMC knife. It's one right. of the most well-known knives really in existence. I mean, heck, uh, the knife is referred to as the brand name, as the K-Bar. Right. Um, you know, this one's made of 1095 uh, powder-coated steel. It's a, it's a carbon-based steel, 1095, which, you know, there's a lot of companies that only use 1095. Sure. Like, like SC and Tops, they only use 1095 high carbon. It's a great, you know, the thing that I like about 1095, right. you can feel that extra bite. Right. To the edge. Right. And You're going to be able to sharpen it much, much easier. On exactly. The exactly. And, uh, you know, MSRP on this, um, if you go to K Bar's website, they, this is odd, 10406. Okay. Don't That's, ask me where K Bar came up with they that. They had to on throw that website. six cents in there. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Not their two cents, they're six cents. So I'll be seeing, I'll be seeing the folks at K Bar at Shot Show here, uh, here pretty soon. So I'll be sure to ask John why the extra six cents. But Smug Matt Knife works all day, every day, seventy nine ninety nine. Right. And then the other thing that K Bar does well that a lot of companies mess up. I'm gonna throw this in there. Sure. Look at the sheath. No, it's a really nice sheath. Leather backed, dual straps. Not only do they have. Not right. one, but two, and these are the thick straps too. I mean, this is a solid sheath, and that's where a lot of companies mess up because they can make right. a great knife, but they mess up the end game with the sheath. Right. And K Bar does an awesome job with that. So this is USA made. Unlike the original fighting knife, you don't have a stacked leather handle. You've got, I believe, it's a polyamide handle. Yeah, on it, this. yeah, it's injection a, molded. Yeah. You know, it's it, yeah, exactly. So it's injection molded. It actually has a rubbery grip to yeah, it, which it, I kind of really called like. Craton. That's the word I was looking yeah. for. Craton. You know, craton. Not, not 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 krypton. Not croutons. Yeah, not croutons. So, <laughs> it actually yeah. will help you from clean it up 
if you're doing anything that gets wet, whatever, it will also <coughs> help you um, hang on to it. I love the grippy feel of that mm -hmm. knife. That is a full-size fighting knife right That's there. That's the officer's club right there. Yeah, it is. That is in the officer's club box right there. Last but not least, we jump into the general's box. Okay. This, is a, this is a fun knife. I love this Yeah, knife. this is actually one of my favorite folders. Uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 3. Three. Yes. Let's see if I can spidey flick it. I haven't done this one yet. Oh, no. Let's You're see. You're going to cut your finger. Nope. Oh, there it. you go. I spidey flick it. What I love about the pair of three is the compression lock. Boop. Mm -hmm. It's got the oversized round hole on it. Do you remember what the steel was in this? I think it's I think on it's here. S90. S30V. S30V. Nice. Look at this, guys. S30V uh, leaf shaped blade on the pair of three. It's a little bit smaller than the pair of two. They pared it down to make it just a little bit better. Mm -hmm. These are the G10 handles. It has a compression lock, which I, which I love, and it has that omni point uh, pocket clip. So you can mount this up or down, mm -hmm. left or right, and you're good to go any way you want. This mm -hmm. has been a huge seller for yeah, Rider and you know, and a lot of people they've been doing some upgrades to these too. I mean, you, like for example, like we sell the the Lynch Northwest uh, deep carry pocket clips. You can go on our website and get those too if you don't like just the the standard pocket clip. Um, there's also some new things coming out that we have. A um, little foreshadowing there. Stay tuned. Uh, that you can get to help accessorize. Oh yeah, these. Um, for sure, for sure. I can't wait till we put those. On the website. Oh, I know, right? Yep. So, and then we can tell you about yes. them. This is a Spyderco Para Three. Yeah. Now this is the third generation. They did the Paramilitary, which is you know kind of the standard size. Paramilitary Two, which is a little bit longer. Uh -huh. It's more the bigger one. And then they came back with the Para Three, which is a little bit of a. a it's definitely a lot shorter than the, the PM Two. MSRP on this thing is two hundred and five dollars. Mm -hmm. We sell it every single day for one thirty three twenty five. Mm -hmm. That's crazy town. Yeah, and this came in your box. Once you get used to that spidey flick, you can just flick it right out. I love yep. this compression lock. What do you yeah. think about that? I like it. You know, I tell you what, I've been playing with that smock so much with the, <laughs> the, the, the button compression lock. I mean, that one's been my EDC here for a little while. But, yeah, no, anything from Spyderco I'm a fan of. So, except for maybe the ladybug. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know <laughs> that's just me. So that's the General's box. Everything you see here on the table is what was in all of the boxes, starting mm -hmm. with the uh, open L, the knife roll, the sow belly, and the flask. Yeah. Throw in the hat for that. We got candy in that box too. Yeah, we throw a oh, deck, deck of cards. Some of knife works, some candy. So. If you got the officer's box, we added in the K-Bar Fighter, the USA made mm -hmm. K-Bar Fighter. And if you got the General's box, we threw in a Paramilitary 3 from Spider Co. Excellent box this time, Tyler. Yeah, no, I mean, it, you know, we, you, we've been listening to everyone's feedback, and again, we tried to do include as much of a well-rounded selection. You know, you've got your your fixed blade, you know, your high-end folder, you know, your, your budget knives. I mean, we're trying to make this as well-rounded as possible. Right. Please keep giving us feedback because we're continually trying to improve this. Um, you know, it's you know, it's I would say progress. fourth time's the charm, but you know, but hey, please continue to give us feedback because exactly. you know. Based off of that, you know, we're going to, um, we're working on some more exclusive stuff that you can only get if you're a right. uh, box subscriber. Nice. So, that's awesome. I'll, I'll leave that there. So, please keep subscribing and uh, you'll get some custom cool stuff that you can't get anyplace else. To subscribe, you just need to go to smkw.com. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of banners on the homepage that you can find rather easily. If you don't see those right away, just scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. You'll see something that says SMKW Army Care Package. Just click it, you'll get yep. right to the page. Yep. If you need to change up your subscription, you can do that in the same place. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to jump up to the general's box, go for it. Uh, if you need to pause, you can do that as yeah, well. Yeah, and believe me, you know, you know, we realize you know tax time's coming up. Yep, not my favorite time of the year. Nope. Uh, I don't think anyone's favorite I don't think time. It's any, that's so. like the proctology visit, oh, right? Oh man, I've never <laughs> had one of those. But uh, yeah, nobody likes this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the rest of us are getting older. Yeah, time. it's happening. <laughs> Uh, guys, the next box will ship uh, the first Wednesday of February. So if you want to get on this thing, if you want to subscribe, mm -hmm. if you want to do it, you need to do it between now probably and about February 1st, yeah. February 2nd. Yeah. If you don't do it before then, you won't be in on the new box, but do it before then. I think these are going to continue to get uh, better and better as we go along. Yep, we're going to have to shot show here soon. We're going to be talking to all of our vendors about this. And, you know, a lot of them, I mean, we, we've had vendors, you know, approach us with deals, specials, exclusives. Uh, all wanting to have some placement in this box because, I mean, it, it's a great 
great program and they want to be a part of it. So, you know, with that in mind, we're going to you know be pitching this box out there to them to help you get you more better stuff. Keep telling us what you want in it, too. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people have spoken up and given their criticism, their critique, all of that. Yeah. We want to hear your feedback. And also tell us what you loved about it. That yes. way we can keep adding more of that stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Guys, thanks for watching. This is brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. That's Tyler Pipes. He's the COO of Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That's Andy Armstrong, creative uh, marketing <laughs> guru. <laughs> creative director of online marketing and media. That is a mouthful. Yeah, that's why I just say, hey, it's Andy. I'm out of here. We'll catch you next time when we do another one of these. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Stay sharp, guys.